power of photography is just its ability to connect everyone. People can look at an image, they have their own opinions about it. That's kind of the beautiful part of art and photography as a whole. But it also makes them feel like they were there. It includes them, it allows them to feel connected. I am Chase Agnello Dean, the manager of photography for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, I oversee all things photo. From a digital content standpoint, we're looking to take our fans and our the people that come to our digital platforms in places they can't go by buying a ticket or coming to the United Center. We want them to, when they see our players in the street, feel like they know them and they're part of their lives and not just they're paying X amount of dollars to come to a hockey game and, and watch. I think everybody wants to feel a connection with what they enjoy and what they love. I think hockey is, because it's through glass and they're wearing helmets and all these pads, I think it is a sport you have to spend the extra amount of time to make those players look like normal human beings and not uh, hockey players in helmets and pads and uh, through a wall of glass. The 16 to 35 is always on a camera. I think the part of photography that most people are nervous about or have forgotten about is you need to get close to your subjects. The 16 to 35, although it will distort a little bit on the edges, forces me to get closer to the subjects than I think a lot of our subjects are comfortable with. Uh, and at the end of the day, it produces those intimate images that our fans are really interested in. It lets us go into spaces and invites them in. Luckily, everyone from our owner to our president to our general manager to our players understand the need um, or our desire to tell their stories and uh, invite fans into their space. So everyone's been very welcoming. Um, I think a lot of the things we benefit from is everyone is so used to seeing us every day that we just become part of the family. It makes it really easy then to bounce between worlds and not have to then reestablish yourself every time you want to come back and do something. As everyone consumes more and more information, photography has to keep up with that to keep up with the demands of our fans. We produce probably a little under 3 million images a year. Uh, without applying the proper metadata, it would just be a pile of junk. Um, no one would be able to find anything, and I'd spend a good portion of my life digging through folders, hoping to find that one image that I know exists. When I got here, I, in I inherited a print archive with prints and negatives and slides that was about 100,000 pieces, and they were in manila envelopes in a filing cabinet. They were well organized, but no one had touched them. So we've been working really hard over the last handful of years to get everything scanned and updated it and input in the system so it is searchable and usable going forward. It was the first 80 years, 75 years of Blackhawks history had been put in a storage file cabinet. 1926 is when we started and there were three Stanley Cups before we, our last three and there were a lot of players that came and went through here and a lot of interesting stories and a lot of interesting bits of information and these photographs are part of that and we need to find a way to bring them to light and make them available for the generations after we're gone. Making sure the correct people have easy access to our historical archive and kind of the day-to-day -day history has benefited everyone greatly. In our Libris archive, we probably have about 600,000 images. Total hands that can get at all of them is probably four people. Total access from an organizational standpoint is probably 60. And we have the stakeholders in community relations, PR, marketing, uh, you know, human resources, every, you know, ticketing, all these, all these departments that have these events. I think the easier our digital and social folks can get at the content, the quicker and faster it gets out. And it helps them stay relevant, it helps them connect with the fans that are watching it unfold on someone else's Twitter or on SportsCenter. We're the team, we, we should be at the forefront of that, not chasing the news cycle. When images are available and when our content's available, it, we then become the voice that shapes that conversation. I think the new era of photography is more, you have the instant gratification of digital platforms, but also the ability to uh, record history. Through three Stanley Cups, we have a lot of images that generations from now people will still enjoy. And being able to make sure those are searchable 
and findable for the next person who takes my job is part of why we're here. We want to make it so in 40 years, when I'm long gone, they can go find the photo of Patrick Kane scoring the game-winning goal in 2010 as he comes back down the ice throwing his gloves in the air. That's a sequence in time that will always be important for the Chicago Blackhawks.